Hello, this is Leanna. This week we are learning about arrays. And so this following program starts with using for loops to initialize a set of employee ID values with the values one through seven. And then we ask the user for a series of inputs, hours worked, pay rate, and all of this info is stored in separate arrays. And at the end, we're going to display the gross wages, which is the employee's pay rate times the hours worked. We have our pre-processing directives. And uh, the one additional uh, library that we're using is the string library, because we want to be able to get the length of our string at some point. I will show you. So here we're creating some arrays with the size declarator of seven because we have seven employees that we're entering information for. And we're declaring the data type as integer as well as um, three other arrays for the hours worked, the pay rate, and the, um, the total wages, the gross wages. So here I created a string for the header, and that was my cat, hello cat. The header includes just the employee ID, a tab, and the wages label. So here we initialize our employee ID array with the numbers one through seven using a for loop. And then here we are going through our employee ID array and asking the user for input such as hours worked, pay rate, and then taking those indexes, uh, taking the index of the employee ID and matching those to the indexes of the hours and pay rate arrays. And uh, so for employee one, we're gonna have uh, the first array of the hours, or the first element of the hours array as their hours, and the first element of the pay rate array as employee one's hourly pay. And then we're also, for each employee, adding an element to the wages array, which is calculating um, the pay rate times hours. So finally, we're out of the for loop and we're just displaying our header, and here's kind of the hacky, or maybe not so hacky, but uh, we basically just want a nice formatted uh, string of equal signs, um, like here, you'll see I'm selecting on the bottom. And then finally, another for loop to go through uh, the employee ID array and the wages array to display our final values. So let's run this. Oop, okay. Try it again. All right. So let's say 10 hours to 50. And then just to go quick, I'm just going to do one for all the other employees or okay fine we'll do 20 hours and ten dollars an hour okay so there we have it very easy um hmm. as far as what i had challenges with it was pretty straightforward i guess um, maybe the most challenging thing was figuring out how to do, uh, creating that, you know, that header line underline with the equal signs because the tab character, for some reason, it wasn't being included when I was, um, sorry, that's not tab character, but the backslash T was not being included when I asked for the length of um, my header string 
so I had to add four character spaces to account for that tab character. So that was a little strange. But other than that, pretty straightforward. Arrays make your coding more efficient. Hurrah!